So, welcome back to Lightwave Guru. That's my morning spot today. And I show you today the Houdini Ocean Toolkit uh, for Lightwave. Yeah, the Ocean Toolkit. And you find the 32-bit code uh, in the Google Code Archive. Yeah, if you uh, search with Google, you find it directly. That's here. And for some years, with a toolkit, make Lino Grandi also some uh, tutorial scenes. And we have this plugin now for many years. That's not a new plugin. Yeah. The thing is that it was in 32 bit. And myself, I use Lightwave with 64 bit in the 64 bit version. And so I need a 64 bit plugin from Houdini. And I cannot find it. Nobody have it. But for some uh, weeks or last week or so, I make a new search in the internet, and the reason was I I need uh, water to animate, yes, animated water, and then I find on this website, and this website is from Philip Saufel, it's a, a 3D Max and Lightwave artist from uh, Austria. Uh, he live in Vienna. Uh, his uh, website and he recompile the Google code here from the Ocean Toolkit to uh, 64 bit. Yeah, and if you uh, click it here, you can download. You see it here, I hope, or well, we see it not. The, ocean, the hot uh, Ocean Toolkit for Lightwave is in, in 64 bit, and that's very cool. And that was the reason uh, that I would check out the tool. And yes, my ocean I show uh, the last days based on that 64 bit plugin version from Philip. Yes, so greetings uh, to Philip for that recompile. So, and what you have to do after you have downloaded this plugin, you install it in the normal way in your plugin uh, library. And this plugin is for Lightwave Layouter. Yes. Also, you install it. And then, the next step for you is very simple. You create a plane. In my case, this, pl this plane here. And this plane has uh, 100 meters, my, uh, and 100 meters, and with 100 uh, divides, yes? So, and then as last step, before you save this file, you go to the tab, ta uh, to the tab and make it to a subdivision surface object. Yes, it's uh, later if you work uh, with that file in uh, the Lightwave Layouter, very important that you have it as a subdivision surface object. Yes, so if you have it, you save it, and then you go to the Layouter. And I do now the following I show you now uh, in what way you can work with. Uh, the hot ocean toolkit, yes. So the first is if you have loaded your file, I drop it. In my, I make it off here. All that you see it. It's uh, uh, the plane I show you. Yeah, that's the plane. It's the blue one here. And if you drop the uh, your hot in uh, your your displacement plugin, the name is hot ocean toolkit. That's there. In uh, your displacement uh, channel here under deform. By uh, in object properties, you see, uh, you see the hot ocean toolkit, and if you activate it, it will directly uh, go in function with the default parameter here, and then you can open it, and then you have here some parameters, and the first parameter is resolution, and it means uh, in what way would work the displacement with what resolution, yes. And 10 is 1024, 1024 resolution. Level 11 is uh, 2048. And uh, resolution 12 is 4996. That's from the resolution. And then you have some parameters. And <coughs> for example, global scale, wave high, shortest wave, choppiness, wind speed, wind direction, wind align, damp reflection, ocean depth. But that you can all check for yourself. Uh, and you 
play with that with your mesh. And the second is if that is a subdivision surface object, you can go under geometry here, geometry, and you can play with the display subpage level. If I, in my case, is it here six for uh, this example? But I go, but I go here to one and show what it's done. That you understand what it is, yes. And that mean if you have a subdivision surface object and it's only in display subpage level one, you have not so much details in your ocean, yes. And it need uh, uh, not so long to render, but and you can handle it in the layout faster. But uh, it need much longer. Uh, uh, it need uh, no, no, no. It need not much longer. What I would say is that uh, you have not so much details. Yeah. So the first is you define your your details here. Uh, uh, yeah, more a higher sub patch level will bring you higher details for that ocean. And the second tip is that you must not only load the Hot Ocean Toolkit displacement one time. In my case, I have loaded it two times. Yeah, and the reason is with the first Ocean Toolkit, I make the big waves and the the ground structure from the from the ocean. And with the second Ocean Toolkit, I give you other parameters and other wind directions. And the reason is I have then more more details for little waves and so uh, the little parts in that in that uh, waves yes that mean you can mix many stacks or many layers from that ocean toolkit plugin <coughs> to create complex complex waves yes and if you then if you go to render uh, go higher with the display subdivision uh, with the sub patch level. You become more uh, um, uh, more high detail renders. I show you that for example. We go back here to one, and here to one, and I start uh, the octane renderer, and then you can see what I mean. Yes. So that's here level one, yeah, and you can see here that the geometry. Uh, it's broke sometimes, or you have your other render failures. You see here triangles and all that, and it's not so. Uh, uh, it's not high detail. Yeah, it's low. It's low detail. So, and now I take, for example, to eight. So make much more resolution. Yeah, in that case. Now I restart the renderer, the octane renderer. And then you can see that you have uh, much more details as before, and the reason is clear: the displacement uh, can better grab all the geometry. Yeah? And you see, you have much more details, and it's much more uh, uh, complex. Yes. And if you give more uh, geometry, the displacement can better work from Octane. Yes. So. And uh, I know many people would uh, see my. A shading setup with Octane, yes. In what way I created with Octane, but I tell you something. I have my own company, and I have to live from my from my work. And if I show you all my uh, secrets, anybody can do it. And then I kick my ass, uh, kick my uh, kick my ass, yes. And that's the reason I cannot show you the shader. I tell you also something. Uh, about the shader here, uh, that is a, that's the shader. <laughs> it's original in Octane, build it, but I cannot show it. I'm so sorry, my friends. So uh, please uh, load the plugin, it goes away with that plane, play with the plugin, and then play with the Octane uh, uh, node editor. If you're not total stupid, you would find the way you can do it. It's not so complicated. I give give you some tips. Uh, Octane have the uh, fall off node and Octane have the dirt node and Octane have the possibility with the, Oct with the uh, Octane material mixer to mix all that and you can also mix it procedural textures and image maps yes and so you can uh, and in that way you can build a bigger node 
And in the end, if you understand the principle from all that, uh, from the Octane Node Editor, you can build scenes like, like that. It's not a problem. It cost me a half hour to understand what is uh, in that case, yeah, what I need in that case. And then I play with the Octane Node Editor and all was fine in the end. Yes? So give yourself a chance. Uh, it's better you learn it for yourself. And the reason is, <coughs> if you learn it for yourself, you would never forget it. Yes? But if you use every, anytime presets from other users or see only one way from another user you go, you can also only go that one way. And if you have a problem, you are not in the best position. The best position is to learn it from root, that you understand what you do. And then you are very flexible. And I have now, after I find uh, the root principle to create the, the fall-offs for the waves and so on. Uh, I have now a library with uh, over 20 different water shaders and he based all on the same principle. Yes? And uh, that's also the reason I make not, uh, I share not my screen and I would not uh, uh, give tutorials in the normal way. I, I never in my life uh, look tutorials. And the reason is that if I look at tutorial, I have only one way I can go and that's away from another artist. And that's for me not the principle uh, uh, to learn. Yeah? My way to learn is to start an uh, empty light wave and go my way and learn it from myself. And trust me, if you go that way, you see it, I am the best example. You can also learn uh, to uh, work with light wave. And uh, you have also, if you have, uh, if you invest enough enough time in that, uh, the knowledge uh, to play uh, in a good way with light wave. Yes. So uh, that's what I would uh, show in that case. That's uh, the Houdini Ocean Toolkit 64 bit for light wave. And see the clay clay gray render. You can see the the details. And uh, yeah, so I know it need to, it need a little bit more time if you must check it for yourself and learn it for yourself, as if you uh, take uh, uh, the shaders or the ideas from other artists. But trust me, if you are really an artist, you have no interest to imitate other artists. If you really an artist, you go your own way, and that's what I would. Uh, uh, Yes, say uh, today to, to, to that all. If I see every day that all users would only use uh, preset shit from the internet, from other users or from databases, bases, uh, I can only say you are not an artist. Then you are a 3D slave and not an artist. Yes? I know it's, uh, I'm a little bit critic, <laughs> critical or a critic in that, in that case, but that's what I would say, yes? So, please, uh, install the plugin, create the plane, make the subdivision, load it in, go to the object properties, to the deform tab, plug in, uh, uh, pl uh, plug the plugin uh, in the deform tab, and then play with it. And if you uh, work with Lightwave, you have so many possibilities to shade it, much more possibilities as with Octane in the moment. Yes, that mean for me if you work with Lightwave Native, with the Lightwave Native renderer, it's uh, much more possible uh, to shade water as with the Octane Node Editor in the moment. But I can do it also with Lightwave Native uh, uh, and all, also with uh, Octane uh, Node Editor. Yeah? So that's what I would say. Have a nice day. I hope you are not. Uh, 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 I, I hope you are impressed from that. What I say. If not, I can, I can nothing do. I am an artist, and I would that you all, also artists and not slaves. Yes. So play with the tool. Uh, good luck, and uh, yes, show me what you can realize with the, the 64 plug uh, inversion. Um, uh, with Lightwave, yeah. So, have a nice day.
Later.